Hi everyone, I hope you are doing well. This is going to be a pick a card. We're going to have piled one, two, three, four. I put the rocks there that may add to the energy and to just take a moment and choose what you would like. And I want to say thank you all for being here. I really appreciate all your subscriptions and your likes and gifts. And thank you so much for all the donations that I have received lately and the bookings I have received, okay? Hope you're ready. I'm going to begin. I'm just going to leave the piles here, pull this deck in front of me or this pile in front of me and let you know what's going on. So the first energy we have has to do with why this is happening. Why is there space between you? Why are you waiting for this person to call you? Like something is going on here. Clearly it's not a smooth ride. And the card you have is prayer. And what's in this card is lemons and lemonade. So the reason that this situation is happening and what it is meant to teach you has to do with the fact that you get to choose. Do you want to see the brighter side in any situation or do you want to focus on the darker side? You can focus on growth or you can focus on, you see, we have like this city smoggy energy there that could be almost like a stunting of growth or an energy of chasing and, you know, trying to get things and trying to get uh, material items, or you can practice planting seeds and watching things grow naturally that are sturdy and strong and stable and that are going to last, okay? So the next cards are answering when. When will this person reach out to you? And it looks as though, we got two kings here, by the way, uh, the king of swords and the king of love here, the king of cups. So the first um, energy I get here, because in the King of Cups energy, there's a lot of busy bees. There's a lot of bees going on. This person could be a very heavy worker. This person can have facial hair, long hair. Um, I'm seeing that in both pictures, gray hair or brown hair um, or dark hair in general. But what this tells me, this person works very hard. Look at the energies here, even with the King of Swords. This person is in their library or their like, I don't know what the name is for maybe like a man cave type of energy where someone goes and does their work and figures things out and organizes stuff. But this person likes to do certain things on their own. Okay. That's a very distinct um, piece of information here. This person sure works with a group of people in one way or another, but they go home and they do the heavy work. They really check out what's been made and where's this going? Where's that going? No one runs anything by this person. Like no one gets away with a uh, murder when they're around this person. Okay. So let's pull out the next cards we got here. The first energy I had picked, cause I had actually pulled the cards in the other direction, like these starting with these ones is to make the effort and worth waiting for. So there is definitely going to be a reconciliation here. Now, when this may happen, maybe when this person can finally take some time away from work and really relax with the playtime energy and maybe get to know you a bit better, um, maybe they just will realize like, hey, my true love is out there and here I am sitting in paperwork and with workers and eating alone. And I want to share this with someone else. This person also has to learn or you um, to make lemon aid out of lemons. Like don't just stay in the sour and en sour energy, make an effort for things that you want in life with this energy. And it really is about being lighthearted because it's like double kid energy here. It's really cute and beautiful. Um, the worth waiting for. So all I got to say with that, because I think if I remember correctly, every other pile actually had numbers that I could tell you when this person will be coming back around or some sort of a sign or some sort of a figure, right? This is the only uh, pile deck, whatever you want to call it, that did not have numbers, but you do have worth waiting for. And this talks about divine timing being at play in your love life. This is your true love. So really, what's the rush? I just saw for one on the time. Really, what is the rush? If this is your true love, all you have to do is relax, stay focused, continue to plant seeds that grow. Whatever you plant is what, what you reap, you sow. 
Okay, you don't sow things first and then reap it. What you reap is what you sow. Wait, you do sow things first and then you reap them. Yes. <laughs> because what you reaped was what you sow what you sowed earlier. So continue to sow those stitches up and plant the seeds you need because you will reap the harvest in return in the later, right? Later days of that. So what else can I tell you? I will tell you this, okay, you're a person, especially if you're dealing with a masculine, um, they want to just be with you. They like You have no idea how much this person actually wants to be with you. In fact, you as a feminine in this situation are actually much more happier than they are. And you don't know that because think about it. They're sitting there working. They have to look happy. Um, you know, they could be focusing on what they don't have, continually trying to make that money and get that money, um, you know, and you are here playing and loving life and making lemonade. They want to just reach out and grab you. They know that you are very loyal to them as well is a message I get. Okay, I'm going to pull an extra card because I am totally guided to. This is a message from your person and it came in reverse. So that's, I think that what it's saying is that your person is no longer angry. If they were coming across angry at one time, um, it's because they weren't sure that they were making the right choice involving this love connection. They were actually very fearful and that was their fear coming out. But now they know that they have a true love here, okay? And that it is worth making the effort and that you will wait for them. They actually know that. And they're very upset about something. I'm not quite sure what. And I do believe it's just that they can't reach out and grab you at this moment, okay, guys? So thank you so much, Pile One. If you want to, you know, to get a number, but I mean, if you pick this deck, I think that that message is for you. You're not meant to have an exact time or even any time at all because this connection is worth waiting for, okay? I'll put this aside. I'll put it right now. So thank you so much. And now we go to Pile Two. This is supposed to be a moonstone, to be honest. I just feel a little bit like because of the placement, but maybe that doesn't mean anything. It is in silver, that it may be imitation moonstone, but it's still beautiful. It was part of a necklace. Um, okay, so let's see what we have here. So why is this happening for you, Pile 2? Insecurity. <clears throat> okay. Whoever you're dealing with has had a really rough time in love, okay? You could be dealing with a man or a woman, but, I mean, we have a man here. They have been totally messed up in the matters of love. I just hear effed over. Um, this person may have had situations where people really put them down or hurt them so much after they just became really insecure. They probably feel a bit like they don't even deserve love or that all love is tainted. This person has had an attachment to someone that really somehow, I, I, I feel like almost like this person actually did something to them, like backstabbed them or betrayed them. It wasn't just like a broken heart. Like this, they trusted someone and that person totally took advantage of them. So when it comes to their foundation and stability and love, it's a total wreck is what I'm getting. And there's a lot of insecurities here. So when will this person be reaching out? Okay, I remember now your card also didn't have numbers. You got the, um, sorry, 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 the Knight of Cups. It's a French card here. Um, I was just trying to get the translation for you. However, in the background, you may not be able to see, there is this pelican, and or, well, I don't know if it's called a pelican. Um, I might have the wrong word for that bird, but I do know what the, the, actions of that bird are and on the other side there is one two three four five candles burning okay this person still has to find like that missing candle there's still a missing candle and it's really within themselves there's some sort of triumph this person has to go through this person has to go through a transition on their own from one phase to another of some sort um, it's like they have to leave what they're used to and go to the next spot now, the next location in life or the next stage in life and settle in there and get more sturdy, more confident, more reliable, more sure of what love is. But that happens within themselves first. You could be dealing with someone that turned to substance abuse. 
um, this person could have very fragmented energy, like where things are missing. They really need to get more solid when it comes to love. This person either feels like, or I don't know, I'm just picking up, you know, some energy around them that really isn't healthy or wasn't healthy. But I guess that makes sense with this devil energy there and the insecurity card poking at their heart. Maybe people that they trusted in life actually let them down. And it really could have to do with the home. Um, it can be abandonment issues or that they had to leave a home or maybe even a foster child you're dealing with, right? I, I mean, I'm just getting that message. So let's see what else we have here. Have faith. So your prayers are manifesting, remain positive and follow your guidance. I do believe that this is a pretty challenging situation and that's why you're getting the have faith card because at times you may feel like, you just want to escape this or like it's just too much for you to bear. Um, like you don't know what to think and it may make you very emotional. This person may come in and make offers to you that they just cannot uh, sustain. Let's see, sustain, yeah, sustain. Um, forgiving and learning and pay attention to the red flags. So there's definitely lessons that are happening here, most likely that have to do with the past. And what I get here, I'm really sorry, like, I'm going to apologize, um, because I feel like your person has done things to you because they're just hurt and damaged. It's not that they want to hurt you. And you may think like the signs are cautioning you to run and to, to just jump even to get away and be better for you to leave. And I'm not telling you to stay. I, I'm going to tell you, like, be safe and don't do things that will harm yourself to be with someone. Like, don't let this situation get you super down and super sad or super emotional. Free yourself from that. But you have the head faith card. Um, I, I think that you may be dealing with someone that's very damaged and it's up to you. It's up to you. If you want to stick around and have faith, you can, you can create a better outcome. A hundred percent sure. I truly believe that if you believe it, it can happen. Um, but there might be time for a break right now. I am in a long-term relationship Someone is manipulating this situation, a trickster who loves glamour and sparkles. Temporary illusions are at present, are present. Wow. This person could be in a long-term relationship with their own red flags that they need to let go of. They need to forgive and let go of. They may be hanging on to someone from their past or pain from their past. As I said, this could have to do with the home. This could actually have to do with their own mother. This person could have had a very, like, I want to say naughty to be polite, but a mother, I don't know why I'm picking the word naughty, right? So who knows what happened there? Um, nasty. Like those are not, those are very weird words to describe, but that's what's coming up, right? And I, I could think very terrible things having those words come up. So this person may have had a mom who really hurt them, okay? And they are still in a relationship with that situation as in mentally. It's something that has affected them and it will affect many relationships until they clear that energy, okay? Um, so that's the message, guys. Until this person really gets clear on things and understands what love is, though they may come around to try and offer you love, it's not, it's patchy, okay? It's it's fragmented, okay, guys? So, you know, say a prayer for that person, for sure, if you're just watching. Like, we wish the best for that person. Um, that's really sad, whatever happened there. It's really sad that, you know, sometimes you can't count on the people that you trust the most, okay? It's a lot of lessons in that pile. So let's move on. <clears throat> we'll just get some water and clear that up. For those of you that chose pile three, thank you. Any information you need is in the description below. Let's see what we got here for you, starting off with discovery. So why is this situation happening? This could be for you or your person, someone or two people maybe. Um, 
you may be dealing with a fire or water sign. <clears throat> Two people have to discover what love is to them, discover the happiness of love, discover the secrets of love, discover the hidden meaning of love, the truth of love the wisdom that comes along with love, the stability, and this is beautiful, okay? You're dealing with this situation to discover something new in life or about life, and it's going to also be centered around love and wisdom is what I get. Very, very beautiful. Growth. Um, this is about growth, this connection. Completions of cycle and growth. Just a continuous worldly energy here, okay? So when is this person going to reach out to you? Sorry, my cards are in reverse here. Now, we got the six. So it's the six of wands. This says so many different things. This can be when this person leaves a situation, when this person heads in a new direction, when this person has an, um, a spiritual enlightenment, when this person frees themselves from something that they are in some way involved in or when this person this person may be waiting for something to come in a reward to come in um one way or another maybe this person is waiting for an honorable exit that sounds very interesting that those words just came out of my life my mouth um to tie up some loose ends to make sure that you know they don't leave things open and not undone is what I'm getting to make sure things are also balanced. So there's no war. That's what I'm getting here. But with the number six alone, we could say things like they're coming back in June. We could say that they're going to like going to call in June, going to call in six days, going to call in one week. I'm going to call in six months, you know, September, October, November, December, January, February. Interesting. They could like, you know, it really could be anything at this point, six may just be a special number. This may just be talking about love. So let's see what else we get here. Friendship. Okay. So make a date for play day with one or more friends. I think this person is going to be calling you soon. They may ask you if you want to come out for tea, if you want to go swimming or to like some sort of a nature, nature spot or a park or sightseeing, or if you're in like Hawaii or something, waterfalls, um, or bird watching or, or picnicky energy. Uh, I do believe that this person is actually going to be calling you sooner than later. And I also am getting this energy that this person may want to incorporate you with their friends and in their friend circle um, first, or maybe take things slowly here. Oh my gosh, I remember. Oh my gosh, I remember. So now I remember too the message I got because I remember seeing these cards come out. You may be in separation with this person right now. And part of that has to do with you having to discover how to love yourself first and how to put yourself first. The more self-respect you have, the more romantically attractive you are going to be. When this person left, if you are in separation, it hurt them, but there was something missing there and they felt like they had to walk away. They may have felt like they were holding you back because you were falling too in love with them too quickly. Um, there's definitely a reconciliation happening here. I do feel like it's very soon. And if you do understand what I'm saying to you and you follow this energy and you follow um you know, to just respect yourself more. Maybe even you go out with your friends. You know, if you want them to take you out, go and, go out and have fun yourself. And that's how you attract what you want is by giving it to yourself. Um, this person may have been in and out of your life too, but you know what? When you turn your back and you start focusing on you, this person is coming in strong and steady. And they're going to stay there because you're in their mind already. You're already like taking over their mind you just kind of need to not focus on them so much so they can actually see what you are, how loyal you are and how much you have their back, okay? Let's get an extra message here. I have wanted to say I'm sorry for everything I've done that hurt you. So the purse, this person may have been in and out, like I said, showing you so much love. I'm going to tell you this, like every time this person did something, it hurt them. That's what I really, really get here. This person has gone through a lot of growth as well. You both are going through this to discover different ways of growth or different types of growth. Okay. Um, 
remember to remain friends first above all like something here about that childlike energy that's so attractive and so easy to get along with when it gets too serious sometimes things just they just don't feel right anymore they feel forced so let this go smoothly and know that there's success assured in this connection and lots of lessons and blessings okay thank you very much pile three so let's move on to pile four. Thank you for joining us, <laughs> me. Uh, this is a touch of tarot. Thank you for your subscriptions and your likes. This is going to be, when is this person reaching out to you? Okay, I'm just going to, well, I guess for yours, I'll put it out here. So I just lay these out actually the way I pick them. Everyone else says I did kind of backwards. But this was the original way I was deciding my message. When is this person going to reach out for you? Doesn't matter if I start at the beginning or the end with the miracle card or in the middle with the soulmate relationship card or on the fourth row here with the emperor number four. So once again, that 1111 uh, four of wands energy here doesn't matter. All I got to say for this pile, if you picked it, I'm going to keep this really short because if someone just goes by the timing and the length of the message, then they're not going to pick this pile. If someone goes with their heart or they feel connected to this beautiful red rock energy, you've gone with your heart and this is your soulmate. This person, if you're in any separation, which is very possible, you this is your soulmate, you have met you're in separation and now you are focused on being positive and knowing this is your soulmate. So you know this person is coming back 1000% soulmate again. Soulmate, soulmate, soulmate. Are you kidding me? Okay. This person is coming back and this romance is going to be newer and stronger and better than ever before because they're coming back solid. They have learned the lessons. This may be or seem like a miracle to you. But let me just say, soulmate, 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 emperor. You have a very solid relationship with this person, even in separation. If you think miracles don't happen, well, they pretty much just did. If you're still here, let me just, I'm just going to do it flimsy. I'm just going to do it flimsy. Sorry. And when I say flimsy, uh, like just sorry. I hope you're still on here. <sighs> Looking into, into your eyes, my whole world goes in slow motion. This is the love of your life. This person's feelings go so deep for you. They want to commit to you. They want to make a decision to move forward with you. They are no longer scared of love. 